What's up guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, what I've got for you today is a quick how-to on how to paint plastic. Uh, We're gonna be using the mirror covers, or the covers for the new tow mirrors that I got for the Silverado. I am gonna hold off on showing you guys the mirrors until the install video. Uh, but yeah, so this video is just strictly on how to paint plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera turned around and show you guys what we're working with. All right, so the, for this job today, actually I also wanna apologize for the heater being on. It'll turn off here in a little bit. I just had to get it up to temperature in here. So what we're gonna start off with is the red Scot Scotch-Brite pads. Um, you can also get away with 600 sand paper, but this is what I have, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Um, we've got the wax and grease remover, well, and tar. Um, now, I do have lacquer thinner, but I really don't like using lacquer thinner on plastic. Um, just, I don't want to have any kind of um, static or anything and cause a fire. I'm just kind of weird about that. So, I got this. Uh, it's a Rust-Oleum. I got it from AutoZone, I believe. Um, and then also, we're going to be using Adhesion Promoter. Um, this is Bulldog. I don't know. I'm sure there's others out there. This is just what we have at the local paint shops. So this is what we'll be using. It helps bond uh, the paint and everything to the plastic. Um, that way, I mean, you can flex the shit out of it once you use that and it won't crack at all. So we'll be using that today. And then just some Duplicolor primer, some basic black, and then clear coat. Um, I just went ahead and got just a regular dupl Duplicolor black. I didn't get color matching. Normally that would eat at me not matching the truck perfectly, but we're going to be dipping the truck anyway and then painting it later on. So I'm not too worried about it matching perfectly. I just want it to be the same color. All right guys, so I just got done prepping these with the wax and grease remover. Um, it is a good idea, especially if it did just come off the vehicle. Uh, to obviously get all the soaps and the grime and the wax off of them. Um, if they are brand new plastics, you usually don't have to worry about it, but just in case something got on there from factory or whatever's in the molding or anything that could have happened, I like to be cautious and then use it before the actual sanding and then we can use it after. So take your Scotch-Brite pad or your paper and then just start lightly going over. Now you do not have to put a lot of pressure on it. Just let um, just let the pad do most of the work. You don't want any grooves are in there, especially if you're using sandpaper. All right, so now that it's good and dull, you know it's ready to go. Um, you just want something good for the paint to bond to. You would just want a good surface for it. So yeah, this is, this is good to go. There's no shiny part. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the rest of these prepped and then we can get to spraying. Here they are all prepped and ready to go. Now I did forget to show you guys how I go about the wax and grease remover. I just take one towel, clean off the surface and then I grab another towel and go right behind it and dry it. You don't want that stuff setting up on the actual part that you're painting. So go ahead and make sure you follow behind and dry it off with another uh, towel. Um, we've got the door open and then I've got the fans going so we got pretty good ventilation. Alright, so we got the adhesion promoter. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and do one light mist over it and then we're going to wait five minutes and then do one more. Time for the second coat. Uh, you can go a little bit harder now and just get a good even coverage. All right guys, so I've been shaking this for about two minutes now. These have been drying for about 10 minutes now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the first light coat of primer on there. Um, I did a couple test sprays on a piece of cardboard over there, so now I know it's good to go. Now that the first coat's good and set up, we can go in with the second one and go a little heavier. Alright guys, so it's the next day. I let them sit overnight. Now when it's in primer, you don't have to let it sit overnight. It just, it's good to let them sit for about an hour or so at least before you start sanding. And it was pretty late last night, so I just decided to go ahead and call it good and went home. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start right now. 
So what you need to do is, once it's good and dry, is take your 800 grit. You can use a block, but on the smaller pieces, it's you don't really need to. Don't put a lot of pressure. It's the same like when we were doing with the pad. Um, just let the paper do the work, because if you don't, you're gonna get finger marks in it. So just easily sand it. Now it's gonna take a little while. So I'll just try and get you guys a quick close up. I don't know if you guys can see that right now, but you can see where like the first pass right there, there's like dimples. And then this part right here is smooth. Just make sure the whole thing is nice and smooth, no dimples at all, and you'll get a nice base coat. I did forget to mention that I went with three coats. Um, I just, I like to go with three coats. We're probably gonna do three coats base, three coats clear too. Um, I just wanted enough just in case it was thinner than I wanted when sanding because I didn't know how the plastic parts were going to work out. I wasn't sure. They're fairly smooth, but I just wanted to be careful. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all sanded up and then we can get to spraying the base. Alright guys, now it's the fun part. We get to shoot the base coat. Um, I went ahead and prepped these. I went and hit them with wax and grease remover after sanding them, made sure they're good and clean. You can even go as far as to use a tack rag, but with these parts, I don't really care. They're good and clean right now. so. We're gonna go ahead and shoot them. Now, just like primer and everything, just do a nice tacking coat, the first coat, don't go too hard. And here we go for round two. So the third and final coat of base has just dried. I let it sit for about 25-30 minutes and now we're ready for clear. Round two on the clear. All right, boys, here we go. Third and final coat setting up. Um, now, I do have a little bit of orange peel going on. Um, that's pretty standard, though. If I wanted to get real crazy with it, I could go ahead and hit them with some wet sand later on after they're good and dry and then buff them out. I don't think I'm going to get that crazy with it because these are just temporary. Um, now, I know this isn't the most ideal setup for spraying, um, like these are a little too close for my comfort. Um, it was kind of a pain trying to wet them out and then not get any overspray, but this is what I had to work with today. So hopefully one day we will have a booth. That's one of my goals is to get a booth so we can make things looking really good. And also this isn't like the only way to do it. Obviously there's a bunch of ways to do uh, painting, but this is the way I like to do it. All right, boys, on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video. Now, they came out great. I'm going to go ahead and let them set up. And then next time you guys see them, it'll be when we're installing the mirrors on the truck. So make sure and check that video out. Um, yeah, I was trying to make it not very long. Uh, I just don't want to bore you guys, but I wanted to get enough information across so that you guys felt comfortable enough to go out and do it yourself. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. As always, you can reach out to me on Instagram or comment below if you guys have any questions. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.